Hello everyone, this is Hazel from Handcrafted Expression. Today as a design team member for the Robin Ness Creative, I will be creating a tote bag using tissue papers and our favorite dew drops from the Robin Ness Creative. So this is a tissue which I will be using and one is from a Christmas theme which I will be using. I bought these tissues from a local shop. I have removed one layer of this and also another layer for it. Here I will first apply, I have placed a mat inside so my on the other side it doesn't leak or touch the fabric on the other side of the bag. Now I am taking my decoupage glue and I will apply a little in the center. And I will place, first I will use my brush and wet it to give a tear on the edges. So it won't be seen as a perfect square. Do it on all sides. And where you have, you can still put a little bit of glue. And place your napkin over it. And give it a nice press. Now to stick the sides, you could lift it up and use the glue
do it on all sides so it sticks perfect Now you could apply a little more on the top and give it a smooth let this dry a bit so wherever you find the little air bubbles you could apply the glue and press it evenly for it to come use a very soft brush Now I will take the next tissue to design it, punch and trying to, to press the air bubbles out. Should give a small cut so using this canvas this tissue you could tear it in parts to give a pattern to your design Remove all the layers of the tissue. Now using the brush again you can tear the sides of your tissue to create a seam. It tears very easily when you apply the water to it. Now you could use your place accordingly where you require. Before you use your tote bag, you need to wash it from water and iron it before using it.
since it is glue here I will not apply and I will place my design here and using the soft brush I will again use the decoupage glue to stick it Now again I will use another Christmas tree from this design And I will place since there is glue on the base I am just applying it now from the top add this table of the gift I actually didn't want to cover the Christmas tree on this side so I lifted the picture up Again I will be using a small piece Now you could see there was no glue here so I will just apply a little and then spread it out You could create your own scenes. Now I'll just put another Christmas tree for you on the left side. And I will put glue on the base here because it is, I had not applied here. Take 
a little here and spread it out. Okay, now I will use gesso to cover up the sides. I am using white. You could even use acrylic paints to do it. But I think I will go with the acrylic paint more than the gesso. Here I am using acrylic white paint. Give it a nice press before you start coloring. And using a sponge dauber, you just daub the shades. I'll use a sponge dauber to do that. Take your color directly on the sponge dauber and very lightly go on the sides. I'll use a smaller size of the dauber. give a quick dry to this so while applying the color the paper is not lifted I'm trying to blend the shades, the white color with the tissue paper. I will be using Distress Oxide Spray. And using the brush shell, just spread it a bit. Do not press your brush too much to the fabric.
and now using the wet tissue i will just dab over the stars Now I have a little bit of a snow glitter which I will use here. Now at last I will use the vintage patina white just to give a shine. Okay. Now we use the dew drops to do to decorate our bag. Here I will be using a little bit of light blue and the silver from this. Now I will use these greens on the Christmas tree.
now i will use a script stamp to stamp over the tote bag so i am using a permanent ink could use archival ink to stamp so using the archival ink and my script stamp i will just randomly stamp over the bag At the last we can apply once everything is dried up we can apply the deco varnish to it I'll just give a quick dry And now using the deco varnish I will over the design i will use it over the design so this will seal your design over the tote bag I am very lightly applying without any pressure. And use it in one direction only. It's washable once you decoupage it, but you cannot rub and wash. You can just And leave it to dry for about seven to eight hours. Once dried, this glossy effect looks very pretty. When you put the glossy effect, you can just sprinkle a little bit of shiny dust if you want. So it gives you a nice Christmas look.
I will stamp a Merry Christmas here. Here I'm using Happy Christmas. to darken the Christmas world. So we are done with the tote bag. And ready to give your Christmas gifts in it to your lovely friends or family. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.